Welcome back to Main Street Living, Danielle Quincy. We have a very important day coming up, and trust me, you're going to want to be prepared for this one. October 4th is National Taco Day. Oh, tacos. I, delicious, <laughs> customizable. You can eat it with your hands. Who doesn't love a taco? We know our next guest certainly does. Please welcome Taco Slayer, Will Maddox. Will, thanks for joining us on Main Street Living. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. It's nice to be here. So, Will, you have a very unique mission to set a world record, and it involves tacos. What is the goal, and how is it going? Well, uh, you know, I I'm, I'm, was trying to eat tacos for a 1,000 days. I, I figured I could do it. It seemed easy enough. And then I hit a 1,000 days, and I couldn't stop. So at this point, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just keeping the streak going. And, uh, yeah, I don't know when it's going to end. <laughs> you don't know when, when it's going to end, Will. I have to tell you, I thought I was bad on Taco Tuesday when I just eat four or five tacos in one sitting. You are completely, completely committed. Now, how did you come up with, with the idea? And do you just really love tacos that much, man? You know, I do love tacos. I, I've, tacos have been my thing for a long time. It was always the, uh, the cool thing to get together with friends on Taco Tuesdays or Taco Thursdays or Taco Fridays or Taco Saturday, you know. Uh, it was just a great time to get together with everybody. And that became my thing. I was the guy that always wanted to do the tacos. And uh, when I had kids, that became our thing. We started hiking and going to uh, the tops of peaks and having tacos. And then uh, and then somebody said, man, you know, if you're the taco slayer, you should really, you know, slay tacos every day. So that's what I decided to do. And I just haven't stopped. Wow. So do you go to a taco shop every day or are you making them yourself at home? Uh, about 90% at home. I've learned to cook. I've learned to barbecue. And uh, basically, any way that you could cook a taco, I've been trying to learn how. And then uh, that 10%, I visit uh, all my local taco shops. I make sure to support everybody. And, mm -hmm. you know, we go on taco tours. And it's it's awesome. I love it. Taco tours. Taco to Okay, so, so, Will, how far have you traveled to search for a great taco then? Oh, man, I've gone uh, as far as Texas. Uh, you know, the heartland of tacos, the uh, the birthplace of tacos there uh, in San Antonio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've kind of been everywhere. <laughs> well, so, I mean, over 1,100 days of tacos. What constitutes a taco here? Are there rules about what needs to be in it or it can be anything wrapped in a tortilla? Uh, you know, that's a good question. And, and Webster's Dictionary uh, defines it as basically such. Uh, anything in a folded tortilla um it, 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 proteins uh vegetables it's just so healthy you can you can put anything in a taco yeah well see this is what i think makes you a taco expert at this point okay so what do you think makes a good taco i, I need to know well honestly love love makes okay. a good taco uh there's something about when you go to uh you go to a taco spot and uh, people really put their heart and soul into their food uh, there's something about when I'm making it at home and I'm, you know, just trying to please my family. Like, I love it. I love seeing the smiles on their faces or on my friends' faces or the smiles outside of the, the taquerias or the taco trucks. It's crazy. I don't know. I love, I love it. It's love. <laughs> it's love. There's no speaking, other way to put it. <laughs> speaking of love, do you have a favorite taco? Ooh. I, you know, I do have a favorite taco. I, my favorite taco uh, there, this place is only open like three days a week. Uh, it's called Evil Cooks. It's in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, some of the best tacos, some of the best people I've ever met in my life. And that really goes back to the, the question before, love. You know, these people like, they put love into their food and it's awesome. Evil Cooks. <laughs> ah, so, so I gotta ask like, what are some of your favorite uh, or most unique tacos? And do you have any tacos there on hand that we could see? Oh, yeah. I, I love a good carnitas taco. I love a good al pastor taco, but I just happened to make some carne asada tacos a little bit earlier. Oh, uh, you can see that deliciousness right there. Some homemade carne asada, some pico de gallo, uh, some pinto beans in there, and then a fat scoop of the guacamole. <laughs> this guy. Perfection. You know, Couldn't even go through an interview without making a taco. Mom. Um, well, are there any unique kind of tacos that we wouldn't maybe expect or would be a taco? Ooh, I, that's, a, that's a great question. What's the awesome. weirdest thing you put in the tortilla this year? Ah. <laughs> Say that again? What was the weirdest, you know, maybe ingredient that you added to the tortilla this year? 
you know, I didn't know that uh, octopus was it. You can make octopus tacos. I thought that was absolutely crazy. And I learned about that just this year. I, I tried my first one at Evil Cooks. Um, yeah, you can you can make anything a taco. I've seen hamburgers folded up into tacos. Sometimes people don't even use tortillas. They use pieces of meat and then they make the taco within the piece it's of meat. meat taco. Up. OK. Oh, my God. So. Uh, you know, I had never heard of this, but you were sad about the death of the Choco Taco. Oh, man, that was, that was hard times. I didn't realize you were going to bring that up. That was, Do we need sad music? It was just a moment of silence or something. You know, the, the what I didn't realize is how many people love the Choco Taco. Yeah. And then that just made everybody want to make Choco Tacos at home and try to figure out their own thing. So that was almost a, a, bless a blessing in disguise. I. Uh, yeah, don't don't sleep on dessert tacos is what I yeah. say. People forget. That's that's my kind of taco. Uh, this is going on, obviously, over 1,100 days straight. So how can viewers keep up with you to see how long this streak goes for? Uh, you can check my website, tacoslayers.com. Uh, oh, there's a link right there. And then uh, my Instagram, that has it all. If you have any questions, you don't believe me, you can scroll back years <laughs> to see all the tacos and uh, and everything that happens. I, I've you know, make sure to blog every single day. So, all awesome. right. Well, you know what? Well, it was definitely a pleasure meeting you and seeing a person really enthusiastic about all the ways to eat or to even make a taco. So, uh, we wish you the best and 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 continue to keep it going. It's a thousand plus days. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Do you mind if I do this? Just hey, oh, take yeah, a please. bite. Hey, National Taco Day, guys. There you go. And there you have it, taking a bite out of it. Thank you so much for stopping by, Will. <laughs> wow, Danielle. Well, um, I'm going to grab something to eat. Uh, <laughs> you know, but after the short break, when we come back, we're going to meet a very stylish entrepreneur. Okay, you don't want to miss that. Stay right there. Yes, let's talk about it. <laughs>